everyone, it's B from Kelly Sunflower. So I'm on for day eight of Ephany's um, 31 Days of Tarot 2020. And today's prompt is, what tarot books did you read in 2019? Now I'm going to do these in no particular order. All of these, most of these books here I actually use for reference books. I don't actually read tarot books from cover to cover. Barring one, which I did read, which I'll get to in a minute. Okay, so the first book um, that I want to share with you is this one here. It's called The Children's Tarot for the Young and the Young at Heart. Now, this is the guidebook for the Children's Tarot deck, and it's by Julia Victoria. It's a major arcana kind of guidebook and colouring book. And the reason why I like it is because it's it's just so simply written you know, um, she kind of gives you an explanation of what tarot is um, and stuff. She says, the tarot pronounced tarot or tarot is a system of an ancient spiritual wisdom told through pictures and symbols. The tarot cards are a way to connect to our souls and spirit. The cards are tools that help us access the knowledge, information, messages, advice and guidance of both spirit and our own souls. The major arcana, sorry, the major arcana of the tarot, which this deck is based upon, gives us advice and shows us the lessons that will teach, guide and help us on the spiritual level and in our daily lives. Each card is full of symbolic wisdom, meaning for each and every one of us. The wisdom can guide us to live happy, peaceful and harmonious lives. I just like the way that it's written. It's just written clear to the point. You know, it gives you a three card spread and, and clearly tells you, you know, how to go about that. And that's what I like. I like books that are um just straight to the point. So I'll, I'll show you the first card that she, um, she explains, which is zero possibilities. This card would be the four in like a normal conventional tower deck, I should say. And she says here, life is full of endless possibilities. When the zero card comes up, spirit is telling you to take a moment to pause, step away from your thoughts and view things from a fresh perspective. By doing this, you will see things as if they were new to you when there are many, many possib possibility choices, pathways or solutions. You may find that what you thought was impossible before you, you, you now see as possible. Step forward into the world of possibilities. I mean, she gives you keywords um, like seeing clearly, opportunities, confidence, and then nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. And then she gives like an Audrey Hepburn quote. And you know, you can color, you can do some coloring and, and you can write your own kind of notes. So that's why I like this book because it's, it's just a simple book, but it gives you solid explanations. Okay, so the second tarot book is this one, and it's called um, The Yes No Oracle by Eleanor Pippa. Now, this book, um, I said before, again, is another reference book, and it gives you like um, the basic meanings of all the cards, and there's all the 78 cards. Tells you how to mesmerise the cards. But what I like about this book is that it gives you yes, no answers. So let's say, for example, now that you're doing a tarot reading and the answer is inconclusive and the person wants a yes, no answer, this deck will um, tell you whether it's yes or no. You know, it it kind of like, I think it gives you a little spread at the beginning. So it gives you like a little spread here. Um tells you about specific questions um talks a bit about the the suits and the and the numerologies aspects of the cards and then um let's say for example now that i had an ending card and and it was like um the ace of wands according to this oracle it's yes you know, and it tells you why it's yes. I mean, it gives you a keyword for the upright and reverse position. And it does that for every single card in the deck. So this is why I like this book. It's a good reference tool. Okay. So the next book that I read or acquired in 2019 
is this one, which I will be reading, but it's quite a deep book. Um, it's called Healing Childhood Tra Trauma with the Tarot, and it's by Na Na Naomi Storrock. So it, it just tells you how to use tarot to kind of like heal, you know, trauma. And she does say as a disclaimer, um, disclaimer here, I am a life coach for you, for your soul. I'm not a medical practitioner. If you need extra support, please be sure to seek medical and professional assistance. My mission is to help you empower yourself so you may live the limited life you dream of. So the chapter one is about the tarot. Chapter two is about what are the chakras and what do they do. But it goes into the base sac sacra, the seral sacra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart sacra, the throat chakra, the brow sacra and the crown sacra. Sacra, sorry, tongue twisted there. So this is more of a personal book, um, but it's it's like a healing book and, and, you know, and stuff like that. Okay, so another book that I got is this one here. It's your tarot court cards by the lovely Ephany Dawn. And again, this is a reference. This is mainly concentrates on the court cards, which I used to see as challenging. Um, when I first started doing tarot and it, it just gives you modern kind of um, interpretations of the court cards um, so if I just read the contents it's got chapter one is the is a structure of the tarot chapter two um, is the tarot court dated three titles gender and physical identifiers tarot element and associations it goes into the astrology of the court cards as well it goes into timings it's quite a good reference book to have um you know around the court cards it also gives you a couple of spreads as well in here with a cheat sheet as well so this is this is a very good reference book got questions as well to answer in that Tarot, your tarot court by the lovely Ethany Dawn. Now, the next book is called The Kitchen Table Tarot. And I actually got this book on audio bills. Audio bills. So I've listened to this book from cover to cover. Um, it's a very good interpretation of the tarot cards. So, um, so it's got here, Down to Earth Advice and All Things Tarot. Learn to read with your own voice and get the answers to all your questions. For years, Melissa Covia had been sitting down with friends and neighbours who were curious about the tarot. She heard all the questions and misconceptions that can confuse newcomers and sometimes more experienced readers too. Kitchen Table Tarot was written as a guide for anyone looking for no-nonsense lessons with a warm, friendly, knowledgeable teacher. Join Melissa as she shares straightforward guidance on decks, spreads, card meanings and symbols, filled with real-life examples and personal explanations of what it is like to read the cards. This book tells you like it is. It, it, it provides the information you need to read with confidence. And then the author, Melissa Kynova, was 14 years old. A kid in her class gave her a deck of tarot cards for for unknown reasons. She has been reading ever since. In addition to being a prolific tarot reader, she teaches classes at the kitchen table and at tarot conferences. She lives near St. Louis, Missouri, and can be found online and it gives you her um her address. So this is a this is this is a very good reference book. Um just very, very good. Talks about the ethics of reading, the major, the minor arcana, even the pips the court cards, professional tarot reading and stuff like that. It's a very good kind of foundation book. Okay, so the next book that I want to show you is this one. It's called the Tarot Playbook, 78 Novel Ways to Connect with Your Cards and it's a Schiffer um, book. So, so let's have a look a bit, let's read a bit, bit, bit about the author. So Linda Cowles lives in Cambridgeshire, England with her husband, daughter, Bassett Hounds and One Cat. When she is not writing internationally acclaimed tarot books, she blogs at Archer Tarot, runs an online tarot store 
and studies ways of using tarot cards to find her missing keys. At the time of writing, there are 19, there are 19 decks languishing in a box under her bed, waiting for her to turn to play. Her best friend are the Hindu Tarot, the Morgan Greer and the International Icon. So it, it just kind of um, says, you know, you know, like the introduction, why your deck wants to be read, um, sharing your life with your deck, how to use this book, keeping a journal, playing with difficult decks. It's just a, just a very good all-round kind of reference book. I think I did do the first activity. So it, it's just about getting through it, I suppose. But it's, it's a very good reference book. So the Tarot Playbook by Linda Cowles. And the final book is Tarot for, for, dummy, for Dummies. Um, this is my very first um, tarot book that I bought. So Tarot for Dummies by Amber Janetti. So it's got here about the author. Born and raised, entered the world in the Big Apple under the sign of Pisces. At the end of World War II, making another infamous baby boomer. Brought up in a typical, dysfunctional, yet well-intentioned family. Had numerous mystical and psychic experiences during childhood. These helped me survive my family situation and per permanently altered my view of life. Um, Pre-tarot, did well in school, yet lacked genuine interest and enthusiasm. What I really wanted to learn but didn't know it was tarot and other spiritual studies. These studies were in unheard of anywhere in the public education system. Left home at an early age to make my way to the world. Worked as a fashion model until I got tired of being just a pretty face and body. And then she says here, um, the tarot, love at first sight. I fell head over heels in love with the tarot in 1966 because a fortune teller told me it was unlucky to buy a tarot deck for yourself. I didn't purchase a deck. Luckily, I received my first deck from my best friend in for Christmas in 1967. Read every book on what I could find on the subject, all of which could be read in a week. So she talks about migration, she talks about study and stuff and the books that she's written. So um part one is all how all all in how you see it. It's got different chapters. So chapter one is making friends of a tarot. Chapter two uses who uses the tarot and why. Chapter three let's go shopping. Chapter four history and mystery. Where does the tarot come from? Chapter five the Tarot Mystery School Tradition. So it, it's, it's it's quite an in-depth um, book, but I just use it as a reference book, really, to be quite honest. Okay, so these are my tarot books for 2019. So it's the Tarot for Dummies, the Children's Tarot by Julia Christiana, the Tarot Playbook by Linda Cowles, the Kitchen Table Tarot by Melissa Sanova. Your Tarot Court by Ethne Dawn. Healing Childhood Trauma of the Tarot by Noma Starrock. And the Yes No Oracle by Eleanor Piper. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.